Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. A friend of mine emailed me, of somebody had emailed him because he's lost the drop shadow contour. He doesn't, underneath the drop shadow, there should be the contour tool. The first thing I would ever do in a case like this is shut Corel down, save all your files that you have up, shut Corel down, then hold down the F8 key while you relaunch Corel, and it'll come up with a screen to reset it to default. <clears throat> and I'm almost gonna guarantee it's there. So I've turned mine off. I don't have the, the contour tool in there. So two things you can do. Well, one is the F8. Two, you can go right here, go down to the drop shadow flyout, what I call it, and right there it's under effect and recheck. They might have, somebody might have inadvertently cut it off and then just click off of it and there's your contour tool back right there. Now, with that said, the person was going to try to contour something. I don't ever use this contour. It's, it's cool, but I don't ever use it. So if your contour is gone from there and you don't, well, let me put that back. I always go to effects in contour. This opens up a contour docker, much like it did up here, but you've got, you know, you've got to me more control or it, it really depends on what you've learned first. So we want to contour the inside at a quarter of an inch and they're contoured at a quarter of an inch. And you know, there's a lot you can change here. You could have, you know, if you had, um, well, let's draw a star. Well, ha, huh. I did a video the other day with a bunch of them and you wanted to contour to the inside a quarter of an inch with square corners, you're gonna get that. But let's say you had rounded corners on your star. So what we need to do is take the, go to object, convert it to a curve and actually open up the window. I know I'm going faster, but nobody really even asked me to do one on this one. I'm gonna go to corners and I'm gonna round the corner. I'm gonna round just the outside. So what I did, I selected all of them. Then I'm gonna shift select the inside or I'll turn them off and then I'm gonna hit apply. That's way too much. Let's go like 0.1 and hit apply. Now, when you contour this time, you wanna use rounded corners. So we're gonna to contour to the inside with rounded corners. And that's not a good example. Let's go to the outside with rounded corners and see it's gonna give you that rounded corners. It is still gonna have the square points. So to answer the question, F8 is gonna save you a lot of time. You know, the more you learn about Corel, the more you start playing. I mean, it's still there if you go to options, customization, and go to commands and type in, just start typing in contour. That one of these contours right here is it, and you can click on it. And let's click on this one. It actually tells you that it's under the toolbox and under effects. So it tells you where it's at. So I've actually got a another one that's under a bunch of different places. And if you contour a lot, you can hold down the control in the Alt key and move, move this out and make your own little toolbar and then say, okay. And then if, so if you're doing a lot, of contours on a lot of uh, different items and you don't, you've got the pick tool, but you want to contour, you can click on there and you've got the contour tool and you could do whatever you want to with it. And then when you get the pick tool, you move it around, but I want to contour, I want to contour. So you've got a little sub menu and you could place this. <clears throat> I've actually, uh, you could actually put it in here, but it's a little in depth because you can, you can mess up a little bit. And then when you don't want that there, you just exit out. Anyway, I hope that answers the question and thank you for watching.